Would you look at that? All right, hey guys. Today I'm gonna to be showing you this pretty cool item I picked up. It's a timer, kind of like a Christmas light timer, but except with better, way better programming. You can program it down to like the minute. Tell it when to turn it on and off. Ugh, sorry, I'm just tired from my up and down stairs. Okay. Basically, what I'm using this for is not Christmas lights, as you can probably guess by the title of this video, but I'm using it to automatically turn off my router and turn it back on at specific times of day. Basically, with me and some other people, I'm guessing, we have a problem where with certain routers, you will have it so if you use it for too long, it's massive lagging games and stuff, and you have to manually turn it off and back on. That can be a hassle. You could be in the middle of a big game and forget about it. So with this, you won't have to worry about it. This is only about $15. And with it, you can actually set up the programming of how to have it turn off and on automatically. Right now, I have it set up for a custom time. It's supposed to turn back on in about a minute, I think. Let me check the programming. Right now, it's off. You can tell by that light. And if we look over here, it is definitely off. All right, now, if we check the programming, program number two. So it's supposed to turn back on at 10.02. So let's see if it works. I showed you it turning off in a, a second ago. Just press clock to return the clock. All right, so basically, I'm just gonna explain how this works while we wait for the last 30 seconds for it to turn back on. Okay, so basically, you can store up to eight programs. If you wanted, you could have it turn off every single day at a certain time of day or you can have it so you manually toggle it with an easy button. It has two power outlets just in case you have a different router, like a wireless router hooked up to your default router for better reception or whatever. And there we go. It should be back on and starting up. If you can see the red lights there, it's starting up. All right, so I'm gonna through how to program this real quick because this manual is okay, but I had to read it like three times. First thing I'm gonna say is daylight savings time, so that's the last thing in the guide. Basically, daylight savings time, it says, um, if you press hour, minute, same time, you'll get daylight savings time mode, which will delay your settings by one hour. This will be shown with a, as a clock symbol, so that's pretty easy to do. All right, I already have one setting in here. That is, let's go click, if you're on this setting right here, um, when you first get it, you might want to hold that power button right there. Not sorry, power button, reset button right there. That will reset your clock and any programming inside. To set up the um, hour and minutes, pretty simple. You just hold clock and week to set the day. Mine is currently set to Tuesday. You can't really see it right there, but it will toggle a day thing up there. Clock and hour at the same time. Press them. That will change the hour. Clock and minute will change the minute. To set the programming, um, it's going to be a little bit backwards for us. Um, the normal thing is you set the um, on time first and then off time second. But since we're restarting a router, we want to do the opposite. We want to have it turn off and then back on. That's not a problem. I will do an example for you. Right now it is 1.03 p.m. Sorry. Press program. And you see it toggles to the program that says a.m. Let's press it again. And now this number turns to a 2. I don't know if you can see that very well. That means we're on program number 2. As you can see, I had it set up at 10.02 a.m. Let's go ahead and change this. We're going to set it to, let's see what time it is actually, because I'm not on clock mode. It's 10.03, so let's set it to 10.05 for turning off. As you can see right here, it says on. So press program one more time, and then we're on number two, turn off time. So let's set it to, uh, move, let's set it to 10.06. 10. Okay, see it says 10 o'clock here, that's what I had it last time, yours will be blank. So just keep pressing minute, and then you'll see a time come up. We can say an hour to change it. Our off time for program number two is going to be 10.06. All right, now we have to press program to see this is what it'll look like normally. You just press hour or minute to change it. Now we'll go back until it says program two on time. Program two on time. And we blank for you. We're going to set it to 10.07. One minute after it turns off. If you're doing a router, I suggest you do it like five minutes or something just so you can get all your stuff cleared. Now we press clock and we just wait for the time to turn. All right, Tuesday at 10.06. Let's check our programming. 10.06, it should be turning on. Oh, I had it in the same. All right, let's increase that to 
7 is the off time. I had both on the same time, that's why I messed up. And go back to program 1 on. I mean, sorry, program 2 on. Change that to 10.08. You gotta make sure they are both at separate times. Alright, now when it turns to 10.07 in a few seconds, you should see this light turn off. There we go. And my router should be off. Boom. And now, we wait a minute and it should turn back on. If you're wondering, yes, you can manually turn this on and off and, and turn off programming. That is what this is for. When it's an automatic, it has on, auto, and off. I don't know if you can see that very well. When it's on, on, it's always on. Ignores programming. When it's off, always off. Ignores programming. That will turn your router all the way off. When it's in automatic mode, it will follow the schedule. So, pretty easy to do. We'll, I'll show you it turning back on, so you don't have to worry about anything. This light tells you if the router is turned, or whatever is plugged in, is turned on or off. So let's just wait a few seconds. It's almost done. I believe this is for clearing the settings, so while we're waiting, or we'll just wait and then I'll see if I can clear the settings for the third one, which I was messing with. Alright. And there we go. Light turned on. You heard a mechanical click. And boom. Router's starting up. So, actually pretty convenient. If you ask me, $15 for something that automatically turns your router on and off is not a bad deal. Let's just go back into programming. Uh, where is that one I was messing with? I believe it's program 3. Oh, I forgot to tell you how to do the time of day. Uh, program... As you can see right here, it says Wednesday for me. Let's go to program three. Program three, you have no days of the week up there. If you press hour or minute, let's just have my phone on here so we can see what time it is. If you press hour or minute, it will say, it will have all the days of the week lit up. So it will be already reset at 12 o'clock on all days. So if we keep going through this, then we'll have it so every day at 12.02, it will turn on. So if you don't want to do that, it's press day of the week. You can change it Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Saturday, Sunday, then weekdays only. That's Monday through Friday. And then weekends only, Saturday and Sunday. Then all days. And then every other day. They have a bunch of really cool options of the other every other day. Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. Then half a week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and the other half a week. So you click the R, you click the R button on the right, and it's completely cleared out. Very easy. Alright, so now I have it so it automatically turns on my router. Let's see, turns on my router at 310. Turns off it at 3 o'clock Wednesday. That means every Wednesday it will turn it on and off. And of course we have to do it backwards just so it knows which one, when to turn it on and when to turn it off. My second one has it to turn on at 10.08 and turn off at 10.07 so it means it will read the off command first since it comes up first and it's set to Tuesday so this will only happen on Tuesdays. And then the rest of them are blank. And you can press clock to go out of the programming menu. You can automatically turn it on. I'll show you the toggling. Off. automatic on and there you go turn it back to automatic so it will follow my programming and it's pretty easy to set up as I showed you it's a lot it took me about nine minutes to do this video but I think that's easier than following the guide because guides are words and words are boring and videos are cool so alright I hope you enjoyed this video guys I'll see you later bye